This is the story of a man named Stanley. Expander Bros! Hey guys, and welcome to uh, my newest series, uh, ha Get Good Bro, uh, where we'll be playing uh, the Expander Bros. I've been having a lot of fun with this uh, game recently. And um, right off the bat, you'll notice that I have uh, different characters that you might not start with because uh, I've played the game a lot. It's really fun. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I got, uh, all the, um, new guys, and it just occurred to me that I'm still on hard for this. I meant to switch back to, um, whatever the other one was, uh, normal, normal mode for this, uh, in particular. Um, so, to get started, this is the, uh, first area. Oh, and that's how you do slow mode. That's cool. Anyway, so this is the first area, um, the, the way I like to do this one is either, actually, the one that I usually do is just go through the bottom, tunneling, uh, with the weapon, and this game is really fun, it's, uh, on Steam right now, uh, until the 30th, 31st of Defe uh, December, it's on Steam until the 30th of December, uh, God damn it. So, uh, a difference um, between the uh, normal mode and the hard mode is that enemies are always one-shot kills no matter what, uh, whether you're in normal or hard mode, but in hard mode, um, they react a lot faster when they see you. So let's go ahead and go through the top here. This is actually one of my favorite characters because he's extremely technical. Uh, and I think... I haven't really tested this out, but I think he's the only uh, character that has a down slash. And they're dead. That's what you assume, at least. Um... Oh, and there is a um, difference in the kind of uh, markers you get for checkpoints. You'll see that this one has a uh, metal stand on it, whereas the one before is just a flagpole. And the difference is that the flagpole is only for when you have lives and uh, you lose a life and return to those. Uh, what these do is that if you lose all your lives, you will start right here. Okay, moving on. Some piggies. Oh, wow, that was. So yeah, don't do that. Uh, I was being stupid. Yeah, I'll see. Uh, it started at that cutscene, and I'm right here. Uh, if it weren't for that cutscene, you'd see. Um, you definitely have seen that, uh, you have seen the helicopter flown in. And here's another little mechanic that I learned, uh, by accident, is you can actually push, uh, single objects over. Alright, so these guys may look dead, but you can actually still hire them. Uh, they're, uh, NPCs that you hire. They're not very great though, they die really easily, and I screwed that up. <laughs> uh, this is Caesar Bro, I believe. Um, my, my biggest problem with this character uh, in playing him is that uh, he has a really long startup for his weapon because it's chain gun, and he also has. Um, a pushback for the chain gun. So, you see right there, I have to get it started up, and I also have to, um, I also have to get pushed back. So, he's not my favorite character to fight with because these guys' reaction times can get you killed and all that stuff. So, you gotta do extra startup just before you get in here. 
And it's a really good idea to uh, get good with the knife. Damn it. See, that's that's the problem. Um, I can't remember the name of this character. I don't. I haven't memorized their names, but this guy basically has a fire truck gun. <laughs> it's really fun. Uh, his uh, secondary uh, special is uh, a firebomb. Not not very useful right there, but uh, in in other encounters you can use it to uh, have a very large area of effect. Okay, gotta be careful here. Damn it! <laughs> I screwed that up. Oh shoot! I didn't even notice I died. Okay. Uh, this is the knife thrower guy. I Again, I haven't memorized any of their names. Uh, it's nothing very special about this guy except that his uh, knives actually push the guys back. <laughs> well, and done. So that's the first uh, level. Area liberated. Yeah, so this game is a lot of fun. Sadly, it's not on consoles or anything like that, so um, the only place you can get it is uh, Steam. But it is completely free up until December 31st of uh, 2014, at, which at that point I have no idea what, what it will do. I don't know if it will become paid for or not. Yeah, the problem with the MPCs is that they're um, not very bright. They uh, tend to get themselves killed very easily, especially if there's like a clip or something. Okay, and... First boss fight. Now, I have no idea if you can actually beat this guy or not. But I usually die on the first jump. <laughs> so, you die, and it's not a big deal because it's part of the storyline. Yay! Precious bests have been captured, true meaning of expendable. Yay! Alright. <laughs> this is probably one of the funniest parts of the game. Soon. There we go. Three, two, one, flex! <laughs> Gotta love that flexing. You can probably hear my mouse on my mic. Um Yeah. Yeah, so this is the bomb guy. Um I'm not too I'm not really good with this character. He's he's like um Brock uh, Brockter Death, which is the sword guy from before, uh, in that he's an extremely technical character. Um, I guess I I guess the best thing about him is his uh, specialty, which I'll show you right now. Uh, it's this little um, car. This is really fun to use. Um, I've been I've been thinking of different ways you could use him. Uh, this is the character you start out with. Um, not, I'm not extremely good with him. He's uh, very generic in his abilities. He just has guns and all that. Although his uh, specialty is really fun to use. Uh, it's um, some uh, sticky grenades. That's what they are. Okay, there we go. 
and we got the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger character, whatever his name is. Um, so again, nothing too special about this character. He uh, uses an assault rifle, but but the assault rifle does have pretty good range, I'll admit. Uh, yeah, right there you can see how far it goes off in the distance. And, um, yeah. And its specialty is really nice because uh, what it does is it calls in an airstrike. Yeah. And then we're back to the fire guy. Blech. I love the uh, sound they make when they die. And that's the end of that mode. So, and for a lot of these, the uh, beginning levels are pretty easy tutorial levels. Um, it's usually the uh, third or fourth one that catches me up. Uh, this one uh, right here usually... Uh, <laughs> usually breaks me but I wanted to show you something really cool like I said with before uh, Caesar is one of my least favorite characters to fight with but there is a way that you can use his ability really fun <laughs> you can just uh, use this now usually you wouldn't have the, the lines to uh, stop you you would just uh, go forward Except, yeah. So yeah, that's just basically the best way I use him. Uh, he's not my favorite character. Brockter Death is uh, fun, and here's a mechanic that I didn't get to show you before. But um, you see these uh, transformers on the power line. What you can do with them is you can just jump, and they'll set out a shock. And uh, this is especially cool with the uh, exploding guys because it'll set off their expl their explosives. Now it looks like they're usually randomly generated, uh, as you can see. Uh, I usually have seen them uh, above the watcher guys, right here with the binoculars. You can see. Oh, and that guy gets me every time. <laughs> Okay. Three, two, one. Go, go, go. Yeah, so you can see that one of the generators isn't where it was before. Or not generators, transformers. Okay. Usually I like to wait for them to get a little bit closer together. Like that. Oh, damn it. But thankfully, I had lives. Okay. Hmm. Oh, shit. It's not what I meant to do. <laughs> no. God damn it. There we are. Oh god. Oh! Yeah, and you can kill yourself with your special, uh, at least with him. I haven't... <laughs> Alright. Alright. Yeah. <sighs> flamethrower, or not flamethrower, but a... Uh, flame shotgun guy. Okay, so let's go ahead and toss a grenade into there. Yep, that didn't work out very well. Okay, but this guy will be uh, pretty good for this from what I- oh, oh damn, I screwed the shit up out of that. Ah. Uh.